Dynamic Creative is going away or potentially by the time you watch this video, it's already going to be gone in your account. What does this mean? What is it being replaced with? That's what I'm breaking down in today's video. All right, so before we get into the nitty gritty, let me just remind you what Dynamic Creative is in case you never used it or have forgotten. So Dynamic Creative was an option that you could use inside of Ads Manager to insert several different types of ad copy variations, images, and videos, and the algorithm will just automatically, you know, switch all of them out, and you wouldn't really know what variation of the ad uh, people were getting on the other end, either on Instagram or Facebook. And so it was an easy way to test a bunch of different ad copy variations, images, videos, headlines, so on and so forth. However, it never really was my favorite way of testing things. If you are interested in my favorite ways of testing things, and I also do cover in this video how Dynamic Creative was used before, then you can go ahead and check out this video right here. But in that video, I explained that the reason I don't like and never did like uh, Dynamic Creative is because first and foremost, it didn't split all the assets evenly, right? So if you put in, you know, five different images, five different ad copy variations, five different headlines, it would not split the budget between all those things evenly five different ways, right? You know, one or two ad copy variations would get the vast majority of the budget, one or two images would get the vast majority of the budget, and so you weren't really actually truly testing things. And then the other issue is, is that it actually did not tell you the best combination of things, right? You would get the individual data of like, hey, here's how this image is performing, Here's how this copy is performing. Here's how this headline is performing. But that doesn't mean that those three top performers all together give you the best variation of the ad. You would have to kind of just guess that yourself and figure it out. Really the only scenario in which I actually did like Dynamic Creative was for retargeting. Because when you're doing retargeting, you're always getting in front of a smaller audience, right? People who have visited your sales page, your checkout page, whatever it might be. And so they're going to be seeing you a lot over how however much time you've put in for your target audience, you know, seven days, 10 days, 15 days. And so you don't want people to see the same exact thing over and over and over again. And so that's where our dynamic creative was actually very useful because if you put in five different ad copy variations, images and videos uh, and headlines, then they would see a completely different variation every single time they saw your ad and it wouldn't get annoying for those people on the other end. So that was really the only time that I actually thought that Dynamic Creative was useful or if you were trying to test on a very, very low budget. But now it is going away. So let me go ahead and share my screen and kind of show you what it looks like now that it's gone and what it's being replaced with. All right, so here we are inside of an ad account. So we're gonna go in and head and click on this one right here and if you recall dynamic creative was always turned on at the ad sets level but now when I scroll down where it used to be it says dynamic creative is no longer available instead you can select the flexible ad format during ad creation this allows you to continue providing creative elements to automatically generate combinations tailored to the people who see your ad will also show your ad in the format that we predict it may perform best all right, so the interesting thing about this is that flexible ads have been around for a very long time. I honestly don't even know how long they've been around. I, it's hard for me to remember a time when they didn't exist. And it was always redundant in my mind that you could either do dynamic creative or flexible ads because they were virtually the same thing. I mean, we're talking about 98% the same. So when I saw this announcement, it really didn't surprise me because it was just redundant and now they're just going fully into the flexible ads format. And again, it is almost exactly the same. There is one big, very difference, which I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so now let's navigate down to the ad level right here. And so here you can see flexible, right? So previously you could choose single image or video, carousel um, or collection, but now you also have this option select right here of flexible. And then you can come down here and input your various ad copy variations. So we have one, two, three different ad copy variations right here. We have five different headlines. And then up here we have all of our creative assets. It's a combination of videos and images as well. So at this point, right, it's really, you know, 99 percent the same and there's no differences however with the flexible ads format one thing that is very different and I think probably not ideal but then again you know they're saying they would only do this if it helps increase conversions you know do we believe that's true 
Sometimes it's going to be the case. Sometimes it's not going to be the case. But if you take a look over here at the previews, you'll notice that one of the previews is actually a carousel right here. So let me go ahead and click on this. And so here it's showing the different images. And I think this is really not ideal because for me, when I do a carousel, each image works in conjunction with the other, right? It's, it's a unified message and scrolling experience where everything makes sense, everything is sequential, everything is very intentional. But here, right, you're just throwing in a bunch of different images and videos to test, and it's just gonna take whatever image uh, and put it with the, the other graphics that you have in there, and it just doesn't flow well. It's very tacky looking. You know, if it was me on the other end looking at this, I'd be like, someone messed up. Like these are not the right images to be putting together into a carousel, but it is what it is. There's nothing we can do to get rid of that or change that. I mean, it's just something that we have to accept. Now over here, you can see this is, it's also gonna show just regular images and that will be swapped out with the other images in the video as well as the copy right here. But you do need to be aware of the fact that it can create a pretty, interesting shall we say carousel option that maybe you weren't expecting so like i said before if it was me on the other end i would totally be very confused because obviously i'm familiar with the platform and so maybe that's my own bias. If it's someone who is not an advertiser in any way, shape or form, and they see this, I don't know, maybe they, they might think it's interesting or cool. I kind of doubt that. I'm trying to be positive about this, but it is something just for you to be aware that with the flexible ads format, you're going to get some interesting outputs right here. And then you can also kind of scroll through here and look at the various uh, variations right here so that you might be getting. So I can click on the single image right here, the retargeting ad, and then it'll show me this variation with that graphic, this one and then the videos um, as well right here individually so I can see okay how is this gonna look you know with the di different variations but again the carousel one I'm just not going to be a huge fan of this one but we'll see how it goes just like dynamic creative though you will still be able to see the performance of each and every single one of these elements these ads aren't running right now so there's no data to show but if we go to the breakdown and scroll down dynamic creative element if I click on this right here Again, there's no data right now, which is why there's nothing to, to show right now, but it would be showing me the performance of all those different variations that we saw right there. So that isn't going away. So again, many elements are going to be the same. The major difference being that you can have a really wild carousel showing up in people's newsfeed. All right, there you have it. That is the breakdown. So really not the end of the world. I don't think this is going to really adversely affect anyone unless someone was truly, truly in love with Dynamic Creative, which I've never come across that person before. But hey, maybe that person is out there. I don't want to uh, discriminate here. But if you have any questions about this change or update, as always, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.